Wait and see if I can catch a baby kicking. A minute ago, they were in there dancing like crazy. She's just taking a snooze right now. She's on the footrest of a lazy boy chair right now. Oh, there went one. Let's see if they do it again. Oh, there it goes again. That's so precious. Babies are kicking. They are. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. Um, I don't know. Is it the 26th of March, maybe? 27th? I can't remember. <laughs> um, so this is my laundry room today, and it's in serious, serious need of decluttering, organizing, general cleaning. That's an empty bag of dog food. <laughs> it's a full box of puppy food for when they get old, when they're born and they're old enough to eat puppy food. Uh, just random. I put that shower cap up there to dry hmm, a week ago. Yeah. Um, so that's my story. I'm going to get to this. This really needs organizing. So on top of the dryer. Woof. So for now, oh, and this needs to go into the washer right now. It's a load of towels. Do y'all use vinegar on your towels? I think that white vinegar in the wash helps to soften and obviously removes, you know, stains from wet towels that have set on the floor. Well, that haven't set on the floor too long, but they were used today. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so anyway, I probably should wash these dog bowls too since I've got a load of dishes I need to start right now. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just dump their food right there on the towel for now. Empty their water. They'll be fine for an hour while the dish washes and that kind of thing. And I'm going to go in and make some tuna salad. Not salad, but like for tuna fish sandwiches. I call it tuna salad. I, I don't know what you all call it. And um, Oh gosh, I always forget to say, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra, and this is my channel, Kendra Full of Joy. And um, I'm going to just have you guys along on a day in the life today while I try to get some things done. I woke up with a cold. Oh boy, yes, let's be joyful about that. <laughs> Could be worse. If that was me, that was me. Nobody's here. Nope, the gruesome twosome came along. We're fine. <sighs> okay, so... I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, hello there. I uh, already filmed this once, but I'll film it again. <laughs> Apparently, I was taking a really long, solid photo instead of a video. <laughs> Has anybody ever done that before? Anyway, I'm making the tuna fish for um, tuna fish sandwiches. And so here's my story. I um, use celery. And I'm not going to use all of this celery, obviously, for the tuna salad, but I'm going to cut it up and wash it and put it in. I put mine in heavy-duty foil and stick it in the uh, pantry, not the pantry, I'm sorry, the uh, veggie crisper. And it, I feel like it keeps the uh, celery crisper and fresher longer. I won't use a whole onion. I'll put the onion in this baggie that I'm left with. I'll wrap a paper towel around it. Now, everybody's... Um, recipe for tuna is how they make it and there's no deviation away from that and we are no different here at this house. <laughs> so I use obviously celery, purple onion. I use chunk light tuna in water. I don't like it in oil for tuna fish. Um, this is the oldest I could find, 423, because tuna lasts a long time in your pantry. It's a great stock up item, a prepper pantry item. Um, so I drain it and I chunk it up even more, you know, I loosen it and then I add the onions and the celery and I use sweet relish. I know some people like to have a little dill pickle or even boiled eggs. We don't do that. We use just a small amount, like a spoonful of sweet relish. And then we use only mayonnaise. We don't use bargain mayonnaise. We use best foods and um, it's Hellman's on the other side of the country. So. There you have it. Mayonnaise, tuna, dill relish, purple onion, and celery. That's it. Mixed in a bowl. Um, and so I'll get to that now. 
Hey, right after I said, we don't deviate from the recipe, we use purple onion. Well, I just cut that purple onion open and it was bad. It was, I don't want to talk about it. It was, yeah. So we're, we're going to use this uh, yellow onion. And, you know, that's one thing that I, um, I find that's different when you have a grocery delivery or a grocery pickup. You know, they're picking out your produce and I might... I feel like I might get the fresher produce a good bit of the time. Uh, I find that to be the case with my bananas and melons are off. Not that I'm a great melon picker. Those are hard to pick for anybody, but you know, anything, celery, all of it. It seems to be a little, a little bad sometimes in age. <laughs> so anyway, back to this. Got the um, celery, the onions, and the sweet relish all in um, here and oopsie and I got the tuna fish drained and broken up put that in there like that and um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of onion powder to ramp up some of the flavor my daughter um, does a lot more to hers than I do so you know even within families people switch up what they're going to do anyway I'm going to add this mayo and we're gonna get on with it. Ta-da! Done. So this will be gone tomorrow, maybe before then. They will ravage this container. It's one of their favorites. And truth be told, I just finished the sandwich. There we go. All done. So um, I go out the back door in these boots all the time, so I just put those on top of that box that's not open. I need to put these out. That's the last thing I do need to do is put these two um, cascades out with the uh, prepper stuff because that it doesn't go here. It's just not where it goes. Yeah. So anyway, um, I clean this all off. That's dog treats for when they go potty, etc. Ah, forgot to take you back to the shower area. Dog's food is all cleaned up. All of this is gone. I got a last load of laundry going in the washer and the towels it looks like are dried yeah oh here I dusted these off and organized this so here's what I use for laundry I use um, these are the uh, all free and clear pods you can't really see them they're clear you know because they're free of dye and all of that sometimes I use downy most of the time I use vinegar, especially with towels, because um, it's my opinion that fabric softener makes bath towels less absorbent, um, and vinegar doesn't do that. So um, for work clothes, for the guys, I use this laundry sanitizer along with a pod. Um, if I want to whiten things without bleach, I use this. Here's some stain remover spray. This is... Uh, for organic stains, um, just put it on there, it bubbles up and goes away, pre-treat it. Baking soda sometimes, borax sometimes. I've got a laundry marker here. This is just more information than you really need it. Um, there's my white vinegar, it's almost, oh no, this is the full one, I put the other one that's on, this hasn't even been opened yet, I put the other one in the pantry for some reason. Um, or whatever and then a pre-treat stain you know that kind of thing and there's a towel down here this uh, sink was messed up bad when we bought the house it looks like they used it for a lot a lot you got used a lot and I would love to have a new sink and a new um, what are these things called you know um, the faucet apparatus thing that looks really nice but um, I was told we could fix that when we bought the house, but we haven't yet, so I'm hoping someday we will. I've got all kinds of room up here to source stuff, and I can only reach the first shelf really well. <laughs> it's my pasta thing. Never used it. What is that? Hmm. I don't know. There's some liquid up there. I've never... I don't recognize it. Huh. Let's see. Mop heads, brushes. Oh, I should get those um, 
wool laundry dryer balls down and use those now and then. I just never think of it. Um, <laughs> respirator, protein powder, more soaps and stuff like that. Uh, laundry dye, laundry color, Mr. Magic Clean Eraser stuff, and that. Oh, this thing right here holds my lint. You know, like when you take the lint out of the vent thing. I don't know who Uncle Benny is, but his name is on my laundry bin. I got that on um, Amazon. Well, she is really eating. For somebody who's gonna have puppies any day, she certainly is packing it in. She's getting ready. She's carb loading, getting ready for the big event. She's been resting a lot more. She has. Do you know I never have noticed that white right there? That was like that when we moved into it. Looks like they had to fix something, like a damage to the wall when they were selling the house, I don't know. Okay, so let's get rid of this while I'm thinking of it. And nobody uses that little step stool anymore now that we're all grown up. That's that. If you like this kind of thing, um, you know, like day in the life and just what I was up to today, I would love it if you would comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe even. I um, enjoy making new friends and meeting people all over the world. Take care and have a great weekend. It's Friday. Friday!